Hello everybody. Thank you for coming to the first ever Digital Sizzle Hackathon. We hope it's going to be a good weekend. It's not something we've ever done before, if you've been following what we do. I was, I was here to kind of meet new people and talk to new people about new ideas rather than kind of working you know, it's quite hard to get out of the bubble. Even though we're very creative where we are, it's quite hard to get out of the bubble. It's called real weather. So the general idea is that um, people can choose weather from somewhere on the planet. Maybe the sort of pump that goes in like a, a fish pond or something. Okay. Um, maybe some sort of perspex tank that we might build. Um, there's going to be lots of fans. <laughs> so we're going to have a trough, maybe. Um, it's going to pump water up. There's going to be like a hose pipe with holes in. It's going to put water down a perspex sheet. So that will be the rain. So if it's raining, there'll be water flowing down the perspex sheet. And then if it's windy, um, there's going to be a big fan that's going to be blowing wind across, maybe at a variable speed, depending on how strong the wind is. And then if it's a warm wind, like in a warmer place, we'll have a heater below the fan that will blow up hot air into the, into the projected air. Um, we're using uh, TFL data as a sort of point to start from. Um, and looking at mapping, you know, the way people move around the network um, and also then their sentiment against it as well, um, into... Um... It's going to be a 3D spider, essentially, spider diagram on a 3D mesh, so a 3D globe, with tube maps and tubes and buses in real time and moving forest around... Forest bikes, maybe? Forest bikes, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Um, in real time, moving around this, this sphere, with sentiment then coming out from that based on social media, what we see in the tube station directly. I can get it up there, I just don't know how it how it sits in. Basically, it's our first piece of art. I know, right? Insulation. High five. <laughs> I haven't had coffee yet this morning. <laughs> well, the idea is, is if you could have a projector um, and it could tell you, it could be, it, you could see through the ground. So you could see Australia through the ground um, if you just pointed it down the ground like that. Um, now, I don't know how feasible that's going to be, um, but I thought I'd just try it out and see if it's going to work. So we've just got here, uh, it's Saturday morning, it is 10 to 10, uh, we've got a few ideas, we've got a few that we want to make, yep. um, if you want to look up there we've got a little uh, scribble board I guess is the right word, uh, and we've brought loads of different components and hardware bits, uh, we've got three Arduino Unos, one Arduino yep. Mega, uh, Raspberry Pi, a Morse code machine, a telephone, two printers, a Connect, official, legit 1950s Morse code machine. Uh, so we're going to do something with that. We're not going to be sleeping tonight. Um, we might have a few uh, tactical naps because we didn't actually yeah. get to bed to about three last night. So, Why was that? Uh, we were up playing darts. Programmers? Uh, <laughs> such a douche. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, we're already quite shattered and the day hasn't even begun. That's definitely art. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hopefully that's what we're gonna we're gonna end up with something similar as an output for the project. Yeah, I think are you, have you got are you, are you been bagged already? I've been kind of semi bagged by the TFL team. Oh, oh and nice. Then, what what I want to look at is, is the theme of how does modern and digital life de desensitise us? Um, or does it bring us closer together? Yep. If you think about um, what I'm hoping for is an output of the painting but then a digital version. So you've got the comparison and you've got the texture on the painting and then the flatness of the digital. Yep. Um, and we're also looking at the movement of people and this, this sort of stuff. Sounds really cool. Alright, let's go buy power sockets. 
Uh, oh no, this one. Strangest kind of stuff on the business expenses of digital sizzle. We call it something like an interactive game using Arduino as a controller. So, um, yeah, little buttons, some infrared control motion and stuff. So, yeah, should be cool. Problem number one is uh, our sticker printer is out of battery, so we can't print any stickers of fish. doing massive amounts of data cleanup because we're going through the TFL data sources and most of them are blocking and visible. Um, so we need to clean them up so they can use them across the board with the real-time data. So stations, bus stops, all that kind of stuff so we can make a map of the entire city um, and then we'll put things on it basically. We have our two creative people currently working on that side of things over there where they can not listen to Techie talk and get very confused. At the moment also I'm just looking at the tube map and you know realistically we can't, you know, from a video, I want to do video centered around the tube stations and um, we can't do a video of every single tube station, that would be ridiculous. So I'm just picking which ones to focus on. We're mopping up the coffee spill. We're mopping up the coffee spill. You can't video that. <laughs> the water trough in here, you've got the, the perspex sheet, the water, the rain is going to run down, and there's a pump and everything pumping that up. We've got, got some hazardous electro side. We've got some hazardous uh, yeah. electronics going on. Um, <laughs> so we're going to put relays. <laughs> so this is like a plug extender thing. Oh, fuck. And we're going to put relays on all of these, on each of the fuse connections. So that we can turn each plug socket on and off and then that's going to turn off like the water pump, the fans and the lights, the lamps. Um, hey, uh, I've got a couple of questions. Firstly, have you got an automatic cat feeder in stock? Uh, how much is it? Okay, how much is the one? £23.95. Okay, cool. And also, do you sell fish? Do sell fish. Cheers. Bye. Awesome. It's going to so make us look like we're going on holiday <laughs> and we're going to buy some fish and just, just name them. Yeah. Yeah. So we're buying an automatic cat feeder. We're buying some fish. Probably could do with a fish tank. If you're getting tropical fish, you have to get a special tank because they need to be a certain temperature. Yeah. So it's actually going to be quite expensive. Well, do I, I just buy like goldfish that are different yeah, colours? Paint. Paint? I don't think. No, we're not painting goldfish. <laughs> don't. Neither. Don't even. No, we don't even have that idea or thought, guys. <laughs> Far too late. We've got to be nice to these fish. We've got to buy some fish food, and we've got an automatic cat feed dispenser, and we're going to get some fish. They're open till six. We've got seven hours. I reckon after lunch we go and grab some stuff. Yeah. Technical support. I'm working on the projectors that you need two of these and two projectors for the purpose of this, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's got to feel, you know, located within the screen. Almost one thing that tips have that feel when you walk into a tube and need to look at the screens for information. You've got to, you've got to search for the information and the screens provide that kind of element. Do we want to make it as if an actual tube experience where they have to look at the ground and not make eye contact? <laughs> we, we did, we, we, did you hear when we were talking about having the LED? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that would create that feeling. Yeah. And then you've got um, four canvases which are on the wall around it with projectors onto the canvases. So we're going to be projecting video on the top of the painting to make it go in and out of real life and abstract. You're going shopping. So you two are going to buy the stuff on that list. Screws, wood, tall lamp, question mark, <laughs> pump, perspex 120 by 120, hose, sealant, electric cable, 
In an impression. AC. Mm. Not not DC electric cable. No, not that AC. bullshit. We're going to stay here. We're going to look up weather animations, cool. weather sounds, weather APIs, and get the. I'm going to get the whole control thing going yeah. actually because cool. it might nice. take it. I think it might take a bit longer than we thought. <laughs> sound of the weather in a way and he's asking if we want to have some music in there too and I'm thinking we could generate music based on the weather and stuff but it all just we're a bit overwhelmed with the amount we've got to do now so I think we're just going to stick with what we've got and mm. try our hardest not to get sidetracked into doing anything else <laughs> Yeah, we're going to the wet room and shower room and test out this hose and this pump and see how powerful the pump is. And um, yeah, we just need to actually, the pump didn't come with a plug, so we're just taking a plug off something else. This is really, there's two bits of sheeting that are going to be glued together and the water's going to run through the middle of the two bits, kind of, to keep it all contained. Because they were quite worried about water getting out. Drinking through the day is the best way. It's considered the best way to do um, live electronics, isn't it? High yeah, especially if you're working with electronics and water, you want to make sure you've had enough beer. Yes. But you don't notice the fires and the, the shocks. The danger, <laughs> the danger is less, isn't yeah. it? The more drink you are. I think you're more confident, so you'll make less mistakes. Yeah. Exactly. up on your moustache that's the problem. <laughs> what we've done is we've, we've analysed all the tweets um, for the last week since after the Paralympics of, of, of um, people's feelings towards Oxford Circus tube and Piccadilly Circus. The painting I'm doing now is actually going to be in the Oxford Circus um, tube station with, with the energy of the people. I went outside earlier, took some pictures and um, and then we built on that through um, through looking at the tweets and so on. So yeah, trying to capture some of those things. So is that all set up and ready to go? Yeah. You're, you're waiting for me, aren't I'm you? Waiting for no, you're waiting for me. I built a lamp at, um, in uh, secondary school. <laughs> and then um, and got uh, many, well, quite a few electric shocks from it. Um, so I'm hoping. Did you yeah. give it to your mum or something? No, like, it was my bedside lamp. <laughs> so occasionally at night, I just turn it off and get a little shock. <laughs> this, this doesn't fill me with confidence. <laughs> I'm not filled with confidence about your wiring abilities. Wire shot. <laughs> So death data. Death data. Death data. So can, you, can you see the etching? So the uh, the number on the right hand side represents the number of tweets about death on this day. 
and the the name is somebody that died that day. Uh, who has an obituary in the published in the Guardian? Published in the Guardian. Uh, and there are 40... I think there's around, it's around two months worth of death data and um, uh, the length of each piece corresponds to the, the Twitter activity on that given day. So when we turn this into a necklace, it'll hang like this with a string through here and obviously be quite a large piece because it's about 40, 47 pieces to it. Uh, and this is one of about six different uh, pieces of jewellery I've made uh, using various types of data. There's um, personal data, uh, so I've taken my wife's Twitter feed and turned that into a necklace. So this is Twitter data uh, mm -hmm. through the year visualised uh, as a necklace. Um, it's felt, so you can see on the edges it's, it's been singed by the laser cutter. Oh, yeah. um, and what I did is I took, um, uh, I wrote a little Ruby script that scraped uh, her Twitter feed into a Mongo database and then visualized it using processing, uh, passed it through Illustrator to do, to do the effect around the outside. Uh, and then I was sitting next to a laser cutter and was seeing it being produced right next to me. We're doing a pump test. <laughs> We're seeing if our bung is secure. <laughs> Right, okay. What, what have you done to this? It's got holes in. Okay. It's we're not seeing, we're seeing how much pressure um, is <laughs> yeah. with a pump pumps out at the different settings, you see. Okay. Okay. All right? Yeah? You, you make me <laughs> nervous. You make me nervous. Thank you, no, no, just, just, just go for it. <laughs> but I don't want my hand to be in there you with really? it, actually. <laughs> Because you're frightened you might electrocute yourself yeah. with the water pump yeah. that you've purchased. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's working. Oh, oh. It's working. It's okay. working. Oh, look at that. There you go. Oh, yeah. It's coming out the bung at the end, so the bung's not good enough. You failed on the bung. Just put your finger over the bung. Yeah, we've got The ceiling will work. Just repairing the helicopter that tried to kill Mr. Hobson earlier. Uh, so we're, we're basically just trying to recreate the same hilarity but with maybe a different face and more beardy face. Uh, so I've been advised though, I should put the same amount of tape as I put on, on this on the other side. Are you going to try and fly it? Well, we'll, we'll try. No, definitely not. Okay, um, that's good. That's lucky. Yeah. I'll help you come through the night. <laughs> I think so, yeah. I'll be buzzing. That's not going to work, man. But you're, the, you're the expert. I think you should show us. Let's try it. Wait, what have you used? Tape. What could possibly go wrong? It might work. It might, and, I, and, I, and I balanced them either side, so okay. it, should, it should be... You were advised by your attorney. I was advised by my attorney. You, you balanced my dickhead. <laughs> Keep away from the artwork. How, how? Oh, don't panic. Don't panic. Well, it's the visor first. That's good. Uh, no. Oh! Uh, uh. <laughs> there's another bit came off. No. There's another bit came off. No. Oh, that's good. 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 How does it go? <laughs> <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> Naughty to toys. Naughty to pizza, actually. Um, Naughty to toys, okay. That was like your beard cut up now. Video. It's gonna be video overlaid. So we're gonna try and phase the we're filming it out. tomorrow morning. And we're gonna fade it out into the canvas. Oh I see. So instead of an image, we'll have video movement. Jesus. <laughs> How good is that? Resting on the on the canvas and then it's we gone fade well. out. It's gone well. As I said yesterday, optimist out. Yeah, that screen actually is too big. It's too big. Look, well, we might have just down Yeah, because you can't. It's too much to scan. You need that to be small so you can find your letter quick. Uh, we've got a tablet that wouldn't. Yeah. 
Actually, you don't have a hotspot. Just tap the hotspot in the corner. Well, Whoa, then you're not using your 1950s Morse code machine. To fix the points. Fair point. Like, that's a proper legitimate thing, huh? Yeah, that thing's been... This is old technology years. joint with new technology. Telegraph, first form of electronic yeah. communication. It's Bakelite. Bakelite, yeah. It is! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's proper old school. Yeah. It's the oldest thing I own. Is there any other songs apart from this one? No, it's only this. No, I mean, uh, we can play one. We can play with one, do one. Because that I, is. I don't know this song, but I'll... I'm trying to guess the... Well, you're, you're more of a Matchbox 20 kind of guy, aren't you? <laughs> I like a bit of a uh, Nickelback, you know? Can't, can't be a bit of Nickelback. <laughs> oh, oh, I want to play Nickelback when I die. Alright. I don't know why I found my fingers. Is that, is that him? Yeah. Yeah. And never in my way. way. And now the souls who wish pennies and dimes for a Disney. I just met you, you and, and this, this is crazy. crazy. But, but here's, here's my, my number. number. So, so call, call me maybe. maybe. Scott, we don't really do the uplift on the maybe. Yeah. I'm yeah. more questioning on the maybe. But here's my number. It's quite so call me maybe. Hey, I just met you and this is crazy. But here's my number. So, so call, call me maybe. It's hard to look like. <laughs> <laughs> this baby, but here's my number. So call me maybe. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, wow, that top, top marks. Top marks. No. This is our thunder music. That's going to be playing top. whenever this thunder. Where the fuck's the thunder? Oh. <laughs> We have kind of constructed uh, a system to track moving fish so that the fish can create sound. Um, we haven't got the fish yet, we uh, are picking them up tomorrow. So at the moment we've just been testing with cartoons and uh, animated fish. The green bits on the screen is actually where it thinks there are fish. Uh, which isn't correct. Uh, I've got no idea what the fish are going to do. Like, I don't know how fast they're going to swim. I'm really hoping they're going to swim. Uh, I'm really hoping they don't die as soon as we start using them. Uh, but I've got no idea. Like, it's proper nature uh, at work. Everybody. We all get a weekend. Yay! Awesome. I'm frankly astonished with the quality of work that's come out this weekend. When we decided to put this on, we had no idea what was going to come out of it, and I still don't. To be honest, we haven't seen the projects yet in, in their final <laughs> state. Exploring how data fits in with people's everyday lives in the city, and how it interconnects with our movements, our emotions, and how smartphones and Oyster cards um, have actually revolutionised the way that um, cities work. This here is only 12 bus routes in London. There's about 510, and if we put them all on, it's a giant blob. Beyond this, these pulses uh, simulate real-time positional data of the positions of buses and tubes within London. You've probably heard my idea on Friday. 
Um, and at the time it sounded like a really, really good one. Uh, <laughs> and then we got pissed and we went to the pub and it was still a really great idea until the morning after when we were very, very scared. <laughs> Hello. Um, right, I'm Adam from We Make Awesome Shit. This is Sid from Twilio. And uh, when we came to this thing, we knew the theme was uh, data and art. And for us as developers, that kind of means like we're going to get an API that was someone else's data, and we're going to make some like little visualization of Twitter sentiment, and we kind of bored of that. We created Tuna Fish. Uh, these guys are classically trained. Uh, it is Tupac and Biggie Smalls. Uh, um, we're tracking fish and creating uh, noise, uh, uh, or a song, depending uh, what kind of music you like. A, a really, a really tough tough sort of decisions. So we're going to start with the bronze position um, and that was data necklace. <laughs> so we started the gold and silver alloy which was the RSVP network. <laughs> and in gold, and this really was just because watching people interact and kind of kind of grok the idea was, was quite revolutionary and, and, and seeing something like that over two days and seeing people kind of get it was kind of quite magical and certainly I think in line with what you three had tried to do here um, and that was the uh, uh, see-through uh, app um, and that's the winner. That's about it really I think.